math in the bubble. Let's get started. So let's start off looking at what a trig problem usually looks like. So usually when we're trying to, a trig problem is very similar to a Pythagoras problem, but a Pythagoras problem just doesn't have any angles. So Pythagoras problem, you might have this, this, and you're, gonna, you're trying to find out what X is, but there's no actual angles involved. So trigonometry is when there's an angle involved. So that's our angle there, it's 20 degrees. Um, so that's our one angle we've got, um, it might be where I'm looping, our known side, which is five meters, and we've got our unknown X side. So every trig problem um, has these three things. Um, well, actually, there's an alternative where you know two sides and the angle is unknown. So you can also use trigonometry if you want to know what the angle X is and you've got a known side of 20 on this side and a known side of 15 on this side. You could use those two values to work out the angle. Okay. So that's what we use trigonometry for. Now, with trigonometry, you need to know a bit of um, lingo. So, this is um, a right angle triangle, and these are all the pieces of a, a trigonometry problem. So, this is this H is the side of the triangle, the longest side, the side directly opposite the right angle. So that side is called the hypotenuse. So that's what the H stands for. So you, this is always the first step of solving a trigonometry problem is just labeling what the sides are. So you label H, O, and A. So the other one is A for adjacent. So that means it's from this side to this side, and you can see, I like to actually call it the attached angle. I think that makes a little bit more sense. Sometimes adjacent, students don't even really know what that word means, but they know what it, it, they can see that this side is attached to the angle. I mean, the hypotenuse is attached as well, but it's the other side that's attached to the angle. A for attached. And the, it's not a zero on the other side, it's an O. So O for opposite, opposite the angle. So it's the direct opposite for the angle. All right. Once you get the hang of that, we're, gonna, we're just going to label a few triangles. So let's zoom in on this one. So. The side opposite the right angle is our hypotenuse. The side attached to the angle is up here. And the side opposite the angle is here. Easy enough. Now right, let's do it to a few more. So opposite the right angle is our hypotenuse. Attached to the angle, adjacent, and opposite the angle. For this one and this triangle our long side is our hypotenuse attached to the angle opposite the angle last one and then we've probably got got the gist of it so h for the long side hypotenuse a for the attached angle uh, the attached side and o the opposite side. Okay, moving on. All right. Now, O, H, and A, we use those word, those letters in the word Sopata, which is just a way of remembering what all the formulas for 
sine cos and tan are. So how does that work? Well, the first, the last two letters of Sokka and Toa are to do with um, these letters. So whatever you've labelled your triangle, they correspond to those letters of Sokka Toa. The extra thing that you need to know is that um, we've got S for sine of the angle, C for cos of the angle, and T for tan of the angle. So that's what these those letters stand for. So if you remember Sokotoa, then you can put Sokotoa into uh, these circles like this. So the middle letter always goes up the top. S O H for the sock. C A H for the ka. And T O A for the toa. All right. So that's how the soccer toa um, mnemonic works. Okay, so going to use soccer toa to solve a couple of problems. All right. So when I'm doing soccer toa, I always write these these three circles at the top of my page because they're kind of like my formula sheet for answering all these problems. And basically, this the thing that we want to find out is what we're going to cover with our finger, and that'll show us what the remaining equation is. So, in this problem, we have got an angle, and we have the hypotenuse, and then x, which we're trying to work out, is our opposite angle. So we've got O and H, so we want to figure out whether we're going to use so, ka, or toa. Well, this one has both O and H in it. This doesn't have an O in it. This doesn't have an H in it. So we've got to use the, the soft circle. Okay. So the thing that we're trying to find out is the O. So I'm just going to drag this smiley on top of the O. So you put your finger on top of the O, and that reveals what the rest of the, the equation is. So now we're left with sine times hypotenuse. That line in between S and H is a multiplier. So we have the opposite equals the sine times the hypotenuse. Okay, so now we've got to do a bit of filling back in. So what what is the opposite? The opposite is X. Uh, the S stands for sine, but not just sine, it's sine of the angle. And in this case, our angle is 15 degrees. Right? And our hypotenuse is 28. Okay, so I'm going to bring up a, a calculator on the screen, see how that works for us. Uh, okay. So, one thing that you need to know about trigonometry is that you can have your calculator in the wrong mode. So there's a few different modes for different angle types. So we want to be working with degrees because we're measuring our angles in degrees. In year 12, you start to learn about radians, which is another way of measuring angles. It's like a different unit for angles. But don't worry about that. You just don't want to be in radians. So um, in your calculator, you should have your setup. So if you go shift, setup, and up here it says 
3 for DEG. So if I want to set my calculator to degrees, I want to go 3 and then uh, that'll set my calculator into degrees. You might have an execute button if you've got a different calculator. Um, and now to check that it's in the right mode, I always do sine of 30 degrees because this particular sign is a special sign. It ends up with a round number. It gives you exactly a half. If it was in radians, it wouldn't give you a half. It would, it would mess it up. But pretty much every other sign angle, say if I did sign um, 15, that would be some decimal. Just hap so happens that sine 30 is exactly a half. It's just one of those interesting things. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to actually put that into our calculator. So sine 15, close the bracket, multiplied by 28 equals and then we want to press this button because that changes it back into a decimal. So our answer, whoops, 7.2425 if we round it up. We'll just do two decimal places today. So x in our trigonometry problem is uh, 7.25 meters. Okay, uh, let's, let's do this next one. Um, so in this case, I have just, I've switched the numbers around. So this time we're trying to work out the hypotenuse, the long side, and we're given the opposite side, and the angle is 20 degrees. So we're still going to use, we, we want to find the, uh, the circle with O and H in it, so it's it's going to be the soft circle again. So I'll just I'll just write a little one over here. Soft. So this time, what we try and work out is um, is the hypotenuse. So if you put your finger over the H, that would cover up the H and reveal what the rest of the um, the equation is so what's left over is O on top and sine on the bottom so our equation to get us started our formula to work out the problem is H equals opposite divided by sine and then we've got to think what are those letters stand for in our problem. So uh, H is what we're trying to work out. It's our X, our unknown. Uh, our opposite side is five centimeters and the S stands for sine of our angle, which is 20 degrees. Okay. Going back to our calculator, um, we want to go 5 divided by sine 20 equals 14.62. 14.62. Oh. Next one. Okay. So first step, label all the all the sides. What have we got? We've got we've been given our hypotenuse side, and this time we don't have there's nothing on our opposite side, so we don't need that. We are trying to find the adjacent side. So if I redraw K 
car. Car has got A and H in it, so that's the the circle that we'll be using to find our equations. Um, right. So let's make our equation. So what we're trying to find, we're covering up with the yellow smiley. I'm just going to highlight it this time. So we're trying to find A. So that that leaves C times H. So our formula is going to be A equals C times H. So that comes from there. Up from there. All right. So what does A, C, and H stand for? Well, A is stands for X. Uh, C stands for cos of the angle, cos 32 degrees, uh, and H stands for hypotenuse, 45 degrees. So if we roll through that on our calculator, Cos 32, close bracket. It's important to close that bracket because the cos is like a function. It, it does the, the cos of everything that's inside the bracket. So if you say did this instead, then you would actually get an incorrect answer. Because it's it would calculate the thirty two times forty five first, but you only want it to do the cos of thirty two. So always close that bracket off. Multiply by forty five. Thirty eight point one six, and our measurement is in millimeters. Um. And you do enough of these problems, you sort of get the hang of um, what they should look like. It, does my answer make sense? Well, it's on the short side and it's on a sloping angle. So, yeah, I would say that's, that's pretty accurate. Okay. Next one. I've designed this so this also uses the um, car triangle. I'll just... So, okay, so this time it's flipped around. So our unknown is our hypotenuse, and our known side is um, our attached side. And then we've got 18 as our angle. So this time, what we're covering up with the smiley face would be the H, because that's what we're trying to work out, which leaves us with A divided by C. So A's on top, C's on bottom. So A equals, whoops, I've done this completely wrong. No time to try again. H equals A divided by C. Okay, so that's our formula. Now we've got to plug in our numbers. So H equals not H. We want to do X is what we're trying to find out. Adjacent is 300 kilometers. And um, C stands for cosine of the angle, which is 18 degrees. Put the bracket in, I can't remember to do it. All right, now let's put that into our calculator. 300 divided by cosine 18. Yeah. 
315.44 Great. And that'd be in kilometers. Okay, the last two that I'm going to solve, and that'll be the end of the, the recording, and then we'll go back to the stream, um, is these two. So these two are sort of designed to be the tan ones. So we've got... Oops. Oh, T O A. All right. So, first one, uh, we've got a known side, 62 feet. So, that side is attached to the angle. So, that's our A side. And X, our unknown, is on the opposite side. And there's no hypotenuse. We don't need it. Okay, so let's go through it. So we're trying to work out, we're covering up what we want to figure out. We want to figure out the opposite side, so that's what our smiley face is. And that leaves us with 10 times adjacent. So that gives us our formula, 10 times adjacent, which means gives us, we sub into our formula, x equals 10, 27 degrees times 62 feet. Okay. Put that into our calculator. 10, 27 times 62 31.59 um, let's check does it make sense well yeah it's on the if you could imagine a 30 degree protractor the short side this side is going to be shorter than but it's that out for me. Um, and 27 is close to um, 30 degrees. So usually when this is 2x, this will be x at 30 degrees. Um, don't worry about that if you can stand it. Uh, okay, last question. Um, so in this question, we have our unknown is our attached side. Our known side is 2.4. That's our opposite side. And we don't have our hypotenuse again. So let's avoid that. If we think about our... Toe a circle. If we put the smiley face over what we're trying to work out, which is the adjacent side, then we are left with O divided by T. So adjacent equals O divided by T. And we sub in what those letters mean. So our attached side is x, and our opposite side is 2.4 meters, and that is divided by um, 10.38. Okay. Put that into the calculator. Um, 10. Oops. 2.4 times 
1.875 Alright, that concludes the stream portion of this lesson, well the video recording, and I'm going to go back to the stream now, um, for those who are on that. Um, if you want to do some extra questions around this, on page 278, question 4, it's got 8 questions, A to H, um, that you might want to do just to practice and reinforce what we just learned.